have a purpose, you have a purpose, leaning on Jesus Christ. There is a purpose, there is a purpose, submit all your plans to God. Sitting here, reminiscing about the little things you do. Ooh. It's taken me this long to realize that no one else in this world loves me like you do. When I get scared, when I get weak, when I get by my feet, you take me by the hand and say, I'm there. Thank you so much for coming to look for me today. Yeah, man, you don't know me. I have to come check you. 
And, uh, you know, since we've been dating, persons have been telling me I've been looking a little cuter. Of so. course, of <laughs> course. I mean, all, uh, all of God's radiance is just showing all over you, my dear. I mean, hey. And, you know, I believe it's because you encourage me so much to spend time in the presence of God. You know, the beauty is not just only for you, but I really believe it has to do with the grace of God from spending time in his presence. Indeed, indeed. Oh, by the way, please remember that you had promised to come and help us with the youth event next week. Jesus. You know, I totally forgot about that. Christine, I promised the guys that I was going to come and spend some time with them. And I really just want to spend some time and just relax mm. and chill, Christine. No. Mm -mm. You can't do that. Well, you said you have forgotten about it, but you have to remember your commitment. I think what you should do is let the guys know that... Uh, you had promised to come and help us with the youth event before you promised to hang out with them. I think they'll understand, won't they? They'll understand, you know, but I mean... Come on, Elvis. I mean, and by the way, you have to stay true to your commitments and your promises. That is important. That is really important in life. Not just in relationship, but in all aspects of life. And moreover, this is the work of God. It's youth. It's a youth event. You'll have fun and so forth. So I think you should really just come on out and just help us. You had promised to so please stick to your commitment. You know, as you put it that way, you're right. I made a promise. I made a commitment, and I must stick to it. Yes. You, you, you know, though, Christine, I was, I was talking to my mentor the other day, you know, oh, and I was okay. sharing with him how much you have helped me to grow and develop in this, in, this, in this Christian journey. And I mean, hey. Let me say, <laughs> no, that sounds really good because it was just a few days ago I was also talking to my, my, my mentor about us dating and so i think that is wonderful that i'm talking to my mentor and you're talking to your mentor as well yes i mean this is just such an awesome thing that we're both accountable to somebody else even as we seek to date each other you know i mean it, it's a tremendous thing of you know course what? it is accountability, accountability is important <laughs> Good morning, everyone. We know that you guys are at the age where you're getting, some of you are getting interested in boys. Um, some of you boys are getting interested in girls. I want to know what is okay, what's allowed, um, what is dating, what is courting. And I know that, you know, some person may be looking around and saying, this fair high schoolers, we actually do have some college persons here and um, persons who are working class as well who would benefit. So we're going to just jump right in, right? So our couples here, I'm going to introduce them. So here we have uh, Elvis, Elvis and Christine, drama the Samuels, and we have the Mills, which is Ronik and Maurice Mills, right? All right. So we're just going to jump in, right? Um, what does, does dating 
What are the benefits? What is one benefit I can say of the dating process? Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. One of the benefits of dating that you can receive is that you, well, whether male or female, you get that opportunity to know the person before you say yes, before you commit to that person. For the males, you get the opportunity to know the person, know the female, before you go down that road. Yeah, that's pretty horrible. <laughs> no one wants to end up in that situation. 
Indonesian. Um, just after things, I think it's really is what say because both persons are living two different realities. And uh, it's very important, even from the dating slash getting to stage, that intentions are made clear. Um, my husband spoke about, you know, building friendships and uh, which is the base of it. And that's how we started out. Um, we had a solid, we actually had a solid three-year friendship before it blossomed into dating and dating blossomed into, into courting. But in all of that, we always tried to ensure that we were on the same page, which involved us asking each other questions you know what where is your mind um where's your mindset in relation to where we are talk about what's going on talk about your intentions talk about your feelings so you know whether or not you are on the same page with the individual and then you'll be able to progress accordingly also accountability is very important because you may <laughs> i know that young persons have a whole different world going on in their heads and it may sometimes put a film over your eyes so even if it may be kind of obvious that both persons are not on the same mindset to you, you may be in a different reality and living in that reality. So accountability. Potential. potential. Right, potential, yes. Living in, yes, potential. Um, and so even accountability can help sometimes in just identifying that disparity from early and uh, having it dealt with. You know, it's, a, it's a really a discussion to have up front and once you identify it, you'll be able to know how to move forward, whether or not, you know, you just call it quits or um, <laughs> option of waiting. I mean, persons tend to say, okay, the time, the time right. you know, right, the time is not right, I'll wait. Some persons actually do that or just move on. But the most important thing is to get, get yourselves on that same level, on the same page, and that can prevent, you know, a whole world of heartache and pain all right i love that answer so you hear that guys so you need to find out what, what page are they on are they are you on the marriage section in the courting section and they are on the section where we're just going out for drinks right so you need to find out right and believe especially ladies this one is for you you see when the guy the guy sent me a message and said i'm not really think so we did it right that's so all believe them don't think say your yeah, man is a good potential, you know. Your yeah, man him, 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 him up the, he has all the characters that I want. Believe what he's saying, right? If he says he's not ready, believe him, right? Believe that he just wants to be friends. Don't take it where it's not. Moving on to the next question. So, as a person who found their husband in the college, I'm going to ask this question. For some persons who might be in the audience, they're in college, they think they find somebody who is a good friend, you know, they can talk to them about anything, they are not, um, you know, they're not coming on to them in any way that God wouldn't be pleased with, and that sort of things. How do you know that you have found the one? Christine. Wow. Um... <laughs> This one is really just cute because um, you will know. One, for me, I, I had an experience that relates to that because for me, the Lord told me. And uh, when the Lord told me that, and um, you know, when you're in, in these sort, when you're in a relationship or you have a desire for a relationship, you should always be wise about the way that you go about it. Being wise means that you see God's counsel at all times about what you desire and what's God's plan for you. When, before I even started dating my husband, 
the Lord told me because we're from the same church. We've been serving in ministry um, together, you know, so we've been around each other and support. And the Lord told me, but I didn't say to anybody, I didn't say to him, it was after, I think when we were close to married or something like that, or maybe if we, after we get married, I think that I, I told it to him. But uh, he pursued me, and so the Lord told me that, and I saw it manifested right before my eyes. So for me, I wouldn't have the experience of getting in the relationship and get, getting the confirmation then. But for me, I, the Lord told me about it before, and he pursued me, and then that blossomed. He didn't, I didn't say anything to him about it. Nobody knew about it, just me and the Lord. And so for me, that was my reality of knowing that he was the one. Amen. Could, 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 could all I, right. Could I I want to, yes, I'm going to ask all of you, make it short and spicy. All right. So, so in addition to seeking God and, and, and just finding out what is God's will for you in terms of marriage, because that is very important because this is a lifelong thing that you're going into. It's a spiritual thing that you're going into as well, where the two is going to become one. But also, from, from a human standpoint, there has to be a connection as well. There has to be physical, physical attraction somewhat. There has to be a connection. You, con you genuinely, genuinely connect with the individual. The individual understands you. You're able to share with the individual certain things. Um, and, and, and you actually are able to see yourself being with this individual in thick and thin. Also, there also has to be, we, we've spoken about accountability as well. Look here now, man. You see, when time you're trying to find the one, don't, don't just lean on your own understanding and, and say, hey, yeah, man, I, I don't want you. You have to consult people. You have to ask people. You have to do your background check and all of those things. And you have to gain advice from persons who have gone before you, who have done this thing, and can provide you with sound, solid advice, even as you seek to go into, into marriage. Uh, probably one of the final things that I'll share is that we are Christian believers. And so anybody that we're trying to seek to build a relationship with has to be somebody who can enhance our own spirituality, who can build us up, and who can, who can help us to grow and develop in the Lord. Because at the end of the day, as we come into marriage, it's about growing together in all aspects of life. In the spiritual, in, in, the, in the mental capacity, in the emotional capacity, in, in the financial capacity. It's all about growing together. And so we have to take into consideration all of these things. Don't only just say, oh, I feel butterflies in my tummy. And, and, and yes, this is the one. No, you have to take into consideration all of these. All right, Ronique, how did you know Maurice was the guy? All right. <laughs> oh, before, before, before Ronique shares, I knew she was the one because of this beautiful smile that I saw and the connection that happened on the inside. All right, all right I love that. Yes, Ronique. All right, so unlike Christina and Elvis, uh, we are from two different um, church homes, and we would have met at school. And so how did I know? I, I started out by saying that we would have had a three-year solid friendship, and it was really like one day, literally one day, I stood across the field. He was approaching me. We were supposed to meet up, and I went like this. You know, I love this guy. <laughs> After, hey. after, three, after those three years, um, but he would have expressed from before, you know, that he was interested and so on. And so we would have started our dating process. And uh, yes, God will speak. Um, he will speak audibly to you, dream through dreams, through your mentors, your pastors, those you're accountable to. But he will also lead you, whichever path he's leading you on, you will be at peace and uh, when I thought about you know us moving to the next phase and uh, um, where it could take us uh, where I wanted it to go where he wanted it to go I had peace um, that was a real confirmation for me and so I know just uh, when we're going into uncharted waters the into the unknown 
you feel a little, you know, jittery sometimes because you really don't know and that's just, you know, by human nature. But the point is, aside from that, you will feel the peace of God. You will really feel at rest. And if it's not somewhere where you need to go, you will definitely feel unsettled. Um, and more than just feeling, we were definitely accountable as Elvis. And I say this all the time, my measurement for Maurice was the word. And he measured up. <laughs> hey! So, hey! Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yes, Maurice, how did you know it was her? I'm full of butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> but um, physically, checked. Beautiful smile. Check. Yeah, check. check. Yeah, like physically, check. Um, not that you have a checklist going through. <laughs> but spiritually, check. Sound. Um, and I think it was on the spiritual side. And my wife spoke about peace. Um, if, if we go back to dating and courting, I am not the guy who said, let me date five, six, seven persons before I know. I am shooting straight from the hip in terms of, I see you, I am not going to... It's like it confirmed in my spirit. And so when I first met her, I asked her to be my girlfriend. Like, I wasn't... I wasn't hey. Be bold. He never beat around the bush. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't. And at the time, I never had like committed relationships and breaking people's heart and those stuff like that. That, that wasn't me. I, I, hey. Not that I'm bragging or anything, you know, but I never, I never, no, I never, I never, I never, I never had that. And so there was a question that you asked about courting and the men are normally the ones who give the mixed signals. Yes. And I believe for, for women, when you are dating somebody or courting somebody, let them, let the man be the lead. So if the man tells you X, if he confirms it in his spirit, then that's what it means. But definitely my wife, um, when we met, as I said, physically checked, spiritually was where I really looked. And then I had that peace. Um, in some of my dark moments, she was there straight through. Um, so when I had the idea of getting married, and we went to our mentors and stuff. Um, it was it was a no-brainer per se. It it flowed at our digital, um, <laughs> but it flowed. But as you say, I think it was when she really measured me up to First Corinthians 13, and she was like, "Love is patient. Is Maurice patient? Love is kind. Is Maurice kind? I love love is I yeah." That. And then I was like, "Yeah, I I I, I love her spirit." Like, and, and it speaks peace to me. Amen. So. I hope you guys get in, want to get in answers. Yeah, but no, I want to have some of them questions, all right? So, we have two more questions. I'm going to ask a question there. I have two, two more questions. I'm going to ask one that I know a lot of people sometimes ask. So, we are told that we should wait until marriage to have sexual intercourse. But how long is too long? How long is too long to wait? Yeah, my ma ask a thought-provoking question. Too long to wait. You're How long is too long to wait to, to, wait to dash out? To <laughs> but you should wait until you're no, married. No, what? You, know, should, like you should wait until you're married. married. Yeah, you should we wait we until know the answers, you know, but like... You should wait until you're married. And suppose you never get married. Then you, wait. you go back home to the Lord, <laughs> Amen. He will preserve you. And you I will preserve you. me. Yes. Yes, 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 believe it, guys. I'm telling you, listen, right? If you are serious I'm about too, God, too. he will definitely fill you with his Holy Spirit. And his Holy Spirit gives you the unction to function. So he will give you the grace. If it is that you're supposed to live a life of singleness that's just dedicated to the ministries of the Lord, he will give you the grace to function as such. If you're supposed to be married and, and, and have a family and all of that stuff, he will give you the grace to wait. And then after that waiting period, it's beautiful. Amen. All right. Well, we are strapped for time. I um, want to thank you for tuning in, for paying attention. I hope you answered some of your questions. I hope that you, you know, um, learned something. Thank you, couples. Thank you. Thank you for yes, having us. You. You're welcome. Thank you.